friends welcome back to my channel again in this session of html we'll be discussing about two tags that is heading tag and paragraph tag so friends speaking about heading tag and paragraph tag so here what happens name itself signifies that what is heading and what is paragraph assume friends you are writing an essay by html programming language so in this scenario what happens you need a specific heading and you need a specific paragraphs so speaking about heading tag friends heading tags is used for the context which is considered as the heading so they tell you that there is total of six types of headings heading one heading two heading three heading four heading five and heading six i have clearly written all the six headings here this heading one heading two heading three heading four heading five heading six will be vary in size H, uh, heading one will be as default is found to be the bigger font and the bold one compared to uh, and coming uh, speaking about h2 is slightly smaller than h1 speaking about h3 is slightly smaller than h2 so what happens the number will be uh, the number will be increasing and the size of the particular heading will be decreasing so if you want to know the clear cut scenario what is h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 so i'll i will write a basic program of how this heading and this paragraph scenario works so okay friends and speaking about paragraph tag if you want to write a elongated story somewhat like if you want to insert a 10000 words in your particular html page we will make use of paragraph tag so paragraph tag will be used in order to particular to explain a story or an essay or a content which which contains a large number of words in that when that scenario what happens we will be making use of paragraph tag okay friends so my request is uh, i'll be actually starting with the coding part so if you want to note down the definitions and the tags here request to kindly pause the video and note down all the points okay and speaking about programming language for instance i'll be taking out all these things and directly start with the coding part okay so as I said before, in the syntax of HTML, it usually starts with doc.html, which, uh, which defines you are making use of HTML document. Okay. And followed by HTML tag. I'm sorry, HTML tag. Followed by ending with HTML closing tag. So here I completed, you can see here, I opened and closed the HTML tag. So in this, we may be making use of title tag. I mean, sorry, head tag. Head tag, opening and followed by closing of the head tag. And inside this tag, uh, I'll give a title to this particular program as paragraph tag and heading tag. So I'll give I'll be giving the heading tag as, sorry, heading, heading and Paragraph tag. So now you can clearly know what is this head tag and title tag. Difference inside this body, I'll add body tag. Okay, friends, and inside of the body, I'll be end with closing tag. You have to ensure, friends, that if you are writing an HTML program, as soon as you open it, which is of opening, at the same time, please enclose it with the because at the end of the time you, you might feel too complex of where to end this tag. so inside is what happens i will get a heading tag not like heading one okay so we'll close this h1 okay inside is what happens i'll uh, i will add another tag called as paragraph tag okay I'm making use of paragraph tag uh, here inside I'll write something. HTML is a very beautiful language. Okay. So learn this paragraph tag. So friends, here I have clearly written the basic of heading tag and paragraph tag. So when I run this program, you can clearly see here the output is opened as heading one and followed by html is a beautiful language now i can clearly observe here the size and the bold and italic and everything the format that is displayed so since you can clearly observe h1 heading one is, is this heading one 
have inserted inside the heading tag so it is displayed in a bold formatic and large font size because this the font size and the bold one is found to be default of this heading one tag so okay friends now you can come to code h1 tag we will speak about h2 tag into okay so i'll end this with heading two tag when i run this program you clearly see here heading one heading two you can clearly see the difference between heading one tag and heading two tag there is a slight change in the size of the context i mean the letters and this is the default size and the bold of this heading one and default size of heading two so what i will do for instance what i will do i will make use of all the six heading tags and see difference between all the heading tags okay uh, mark h4 5 and h6 okay so for instance we're copying this okay so what happens here i can clearly see here i have written all those things so i'll take this all these two and make this 3 and make this 4 and make it as 5 and make it as 6 so we'll end this using closing tags okay h3 h4 h5 h6 so friends when i execute the program and see what happens you see here you can clearly see here friends here, heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 heading 5 and heading 6 so this is called as heading tags there are six type of heading tags you can choose any one of these heading tags based on your likability so if you like heading one to a particular context add heading one if you want to particular on uh, head, heading two for your context add heading two so these are the default size and the bold italic of this bold i mean the style and weight of this particular heading tags you can clearly see here heading one is found to be the biggest of all heading two is second second heading three is seven as i said before this Heading tags will be based upon the variation of the sizes of the particular texts. So these are called as heading tags. And speaking about paragraph tag, tag friends, you can see here, I cannot edit edit everything here. So this is called as heading tags. And if you can paragraph tags, you cannot even more, you can add even more lengthy program. For example, I need to add another text. HTML is very easy. use so when you run the program friends you can clearly see here it's showing html is very beautiful the reason the html is very beautiful language and html is very easy to use and the reason i am writing writing this inside this particular paragraph tag friends keep that in mind friends suppose you are writing an essay so the heading will be the most bold because uh, the people usually prefer the heading tag okay when you're writing a context it needs some to be heading i mean about what content you're writing and the particular size of this heading can be choose by your end you can add h1 h2 h3 h4 and this suppose uh, in the paragraph i need to add 10000 words if you put all the 10000 words inside the heading tag that doesn't look professional so in order to make the decrease the complexity and makes it looks more formidable so i'm inserting this inside a paragraph tag so when this is called as heading tag and paragraph tag I hope you have guys come across what is this heading at tag and paragraph tag. If you have any doubt regarding this heading tag and paragraph tag, friends, request you to kindly please pin down your doubts inside the comment section. I will definitely reply you back. Okay. If you like this video, request to kindly please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Keep coding. Love you. Bye.